Assalamu alaikum. Here is Sitar Yasi, belong to BS Chemistry. Um, here is my ID 2140-67006. So let's start a presentation. My presentation topic name is happiness hormones. So we start this topic with introduction with the hormones, but what are the hormones? Hormones are the chemical produced by different glands across your body. They travel through the bloodstream, acting as messengers and playing a part in many bodily processes. Certain hormones are known to help to more positive feelings, including happiness and pleasure. Hormones and neurotransmitters are molecules that act as chemical messengers. The main difference between the two is that hormones are released by the endocrine system as chemical impulse, while the neurotransmitters are released by the central nerve system as electrical impulses. So the two systems work together. So the line between the two becomes blurred. Some molecules even acting as both. Uh, oxytocin, for example. So next we start this topic with the happiness hormones. That our presentation. So happiness hormones are that the body is capable of producing by itself. It includes dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins. First we start with the dopamine. What is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, often painted as the neurochemical most strongly associated with happiness. It might be more precise to say that dopamine is responsible for reward, driving, behavior, and pleasure-seeking activities. You get a rush of it when you feel proud of yourself, when you eat comfort food, when it's pay uh, day, and of course, when you wait. When you have a happy feeling, then the hormones dopamine is released, and uh, we know is the uh, formula of the dopamine, structure of the dopamine, love and the passion. Uh, if too few dopamine molecules are released, Parkin Parkinson's disease may develop. Uh, dopamine levels also play a large part in motor reactions defined by a slow loss of motor skills and mood and sleep disorders. On the other hand, too high of dopamine level can lead to the symptoms like mania, hallucinations, and it also appears to increase impulsive behaviors. And uh, next our topic is how to increase dopamine levels. For example, break down one big goal into several smaller ones and pause to acknowledge each successes. Then you can try to set a new realistic goal, which you are still working on your current objective. In short, more dopamine rewards beget more motivation to seek more dopamine. So without going overboard, nurture that feedback loop. Also listen to music, music that makes you feel good, music that moves you, music that gives you chills. One study analyzed levels of dopamine when participants listened to music that gave them this musical sense and concluded that when it did, Dopamine transmission was higher. Music is inexpressibly linked with our deepest reward system. So we uh, conclude from this that when we eat comfort food, when we listen to music, the uh, dopamine levels can be increasing. So next is shed another study showed that exercise may also increase dopamine as do tangible rewards like food or the money. So find it when physical activity diet motivates you to exercise regularly, try saving money, having money left at the end of the month is the reward and learning how to cook food that delicious and healthy. That's all. So next topic is oxytocin. That is also hormone, happiness hormones. Oxytocin is peptide hormone composed of nine amino acids released from the pituitary gland most notably controlling uterus pumps and breastfeeding tumors. It's active during childbirth and the physical contact and it's been found to cause behavioral and the psychological effect such as maternal, sexual and the social behaviors. In other words, it facil uh, facilitates social interaction and is mostly associated with positive social behavior due to the significant, a significant correlation between social bonding and life satisfaction that indeed oxytocin levels could lead to a happier life. Uh, below is the uh, structure of the oxytocin, intimacy and the bonding. Uh, so because oxytocin levels go up with breastfeeding between mother and child, hugging, 
intercourse orgasms and skin to skin contact is often referred to as the hug hormone or the bonding hormone in this some studies have shown that an increase in oxytocin uh, oxytocin also in this trust due to signification a signification correlation between social bonding and life satisfaction then in date oxytocin levels would lead to happier lives and how do it gives oxytocin level here below are the facts that we that show that how to increase this hormone there are a few ways you can naturally boost your level of this hormone of happiness take part in group activities and if they are physical even better make sure to take the time to cuddle your loved ones get a dog or another pet that we love more uh, in fact if you own a dog chance you, uh, chances are you uh, your oxytocin levels and his or hers for that matter are the last thing you need to worry about studies have shown that not only does petting and the spending time with your dog raise oxytocin levels uh, levels in both but simply gazing at each other sent oxytocin levels uh, soar uh so third hormone is serotonin it is also happiness hormone happiness and the satisfaction also known as 5 hydroxy uh, trip, uh tryptamine uh tryptamine 5 as serotonin is a complex neurotransmitter serotonin would be uh, thought of simply as bring about feelings of confidence and self esteem for example serotonin has been shown to be at high levels when you feel significant uh, significant and life like you are part of a group conversely feelings of loneliness and depression are us uh, usually associated with low serotonin levels and here below is the structure of serotonin it is also happiness and the satisfaction hormones next is high serotonin activity allows people to put themselves in situations that will bolster self esteem and increase one's self worth and sense of belonging and turn this up to serotonin while the fact of increasing happiness hormones are being researched no neurochemical is a quick fix for happiness and uh, here below is the how to increase serotonin level naturally how to boost, how to boost our uh, this hormone here is the below uh, uh, it show the fact that how to increase the serotonin levels studies have shown that athletes have higher levels of serotonin and exercise such as riding a bike Are running has been shown to increase serotonin along with getting some sun or a well deserved massage. Another way to uh up your serotonin is by reflecting on work you have in your life. For example, experiences, people, and things that make you feel grateful, loved, and important. Your brain will produce serotonin regardless of whether a situation is image uh, image uh, sorry imagined or is recalled as a memory. Exercise like riding a bike or running has been shown to increase serotonin along with getting some sun or well deserved massage. Again, it tells us that if you riding a bike or if you are taking a deserved a massage or taking a massage, or getting some sun, uh, it increases a uh, a uh, serotonin hormones can be increased naturally. Uh, like it show bike yourself better cycling boost your heart happiness heart and the fourth one and it is the last one uh, happiness heart good is the endorphin ever feel amazing after a good hard workout you may have a hear that your high is caused by tv neurochemicals released by your body these neurochemicals are called endorphins while endorphins might make you feel good after a long jog there is a lot more to know about the role they play in regulating your body the word endorphin comes from putting together the word endog uh, endogenous meaning found within the body and morphine which is an uh, opiate pain reliever in other words endorphins got their name because they are natural pain relievers endorphins consist of a large group of peptides it is also contain the peptide bonds like the serotonin contain and dopamine contain they are produced by the central nervous system and the pituitary gland since endorphins act on the opioid opioid receptors in our brains they reduce pain and boost pleasure resulting in a feeling of well being endorphins are released in response to pain or stress but they are also released during our other activities like eating exercise or sex 
it also includes how to naturally boost endorphins and how to increase our uh, endorphin hormones. So, uh, uh, I will tell you, you don't have to run an entire marathon to experience the pleasurable effects of an endorphins release. Your body also produces endorphins naturally when you, you do the following. When you do the following, uh, the endorphins hormones naturally increase. So. Eat dark chocolate, exercise, any form of exercise will do, but exercising in a group trusted source is even better. Have sex, create music trusted source or art, dance, have a glass of wine, get a culture trusted source, love trusted source, enjoy your favorite dish, get a massage, take a swana trusted source, eat something spicy, uh, or try something, uh, some armut therapy, watch your favorite TV program, and uh, meditate. So like this is getting a massage post and all this. That's all. That are, uh, uh, all, that are all four hormones. Uh, that have happiness hormones. And uh, that first is our dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and the and all, uh, and all So our presentation is ended. So let's go by.